climate crisis is caused by our way of fulfilling our material needs. And it requires new economic answers because economists deal with the question how this provisioning takes place at the moment or could take place if we set up things differently. We need to build an economy that allows everyone to have enough food, a place to sleep and to take part in society and that fits on our evidently very vulnerable planet. Economics consists of many different theoretical streams, which have a different perspective on how provisioning currently takes place and how it should take place. Some of the theories from different streams complement each other, others are more contradictory. Methods from complexity economics can be used to formalize ideas from post-Keynesian economics and enhance post-Keynesian models. On the other hand, the neoclassical framework leads to the conclusion that a carbon price is the perfect solution to the climate crisis, whereas ecological economists tend to believe that definitive boundaries on resource use and production are necessary and that a carbon price is not enough. Sometimes the contradictions are frustrating, but they remind us that economics is a social science and that there are many ways of perceiving social problems and that there is always an alternative. Many economists mostly work with formal models and do econometric analysis in their search for answers. Others also do conceptual analysis, carry out surveys or do interviews. As economists talk so much about models, I want to say some words about them. A model is a simplified representation of reality that allows us to see particular mechanisms more clearly. Usually, they consist of a number of equations which all describe the relation between certain variables, such as between GDP and carbon emissions. Models can be classified according to theoretical streams, because of what they include, what they leave out, the assumptions they make, and according to how they are set up in mathematical terms. Sometimes, they are also hybrid models, which make use of features belonging to different theoretical streams. At university, economic students usually only learn how neoclassical models work and how to carry out econometric analysis. This is a pity because actually economics is a really diverse field. Learning about different methods is really important. It allows to choose a method that fits the context and blind spots are more likely to be avoided. When it comes to transitioning into an economy that takes into account our climate, we should consider all solutions people come up with. Sometimes there are controversies, but often different ideas complement each other and should be put into place at the same time. Also, policy should not only work from an economic point of view, but have to be politically feasible. What is feasible might differ from region to region, so it is good to have a wider range of policies from a bigger toolbox. We have to introduce nudges wherever possible and understand how to provide information about the climate in a way that people are willing to take action. We need to think about ways of how to become more independent of economic growth, for example by reducing working hours and redistributing income. We need a carbon price to change the system of incentives. We have to understand the importance of care work for our well-being and how a more sustainable society might put a bigger emphasis on this part of the economy. We have to include people into the scientific process who are already affected by the climate crisis and have a better sense of urgency. The government needs to invest into green infrastructure and technology and the central bank might play a crucial role in there. All these ideas come from different schools of thought and different theories are needed to further develop them, adapt them to specific contexts and investigate how they interact with each other. To address the climate crisis, we need to make use of all these different theories, explain them to each other, argue with models, get inspired by ideas and let every student, researcher and politician decide which concepts they want to work with when trying to contribute to the transition that lies in front of us. <laughs>